What if I told you this is not fried chicken? That's right. Mm. Okay, y'all, let's make some fried oyster mushrooms. So we're gonna start off with some spelt flour. You're gonna need a dry batter and a wet batter. Now this part is super key because you do not want no under seasoned oyster mushroom, just like you don't want no under seasoned fried chicken. So basically just season the flour as if you're seasoning some fried chicken. I'll leave what I use in a description box just to help anyone out who need it but for the most part do your thing me personally i like to use salt free seasonings and for the wet batter you're just going to start off um if you need measurements just start off with like a cup of flour and add water as you go you're, you're going to want to make sure you whisk it really good this is the consistency that i like to do my mushrooms at as you can see it's not really thick but it's not super thin So now we're going to prepare the dry batter and I just use a Ziploc bag, season it as always. And that way you can make everything like less stressful and more easier by putting it in a bag. I used to use a bowl, but it was just too much, y'all, too much of a mess. So yeah, just moving around, shake it up, get that seasoning in there. This is how my oyster mushrooms came in a package. So once I cleaned them really good, I let them soak in some spring water and Himalayan salt. You're going to just break them apart into smaller pieces. That way it cooks more easier and just pat them dry because that way the seasoning will take very well on them. Alrighty, now that you have your mushrooms split into smaller pieces, you're just going to season the mushrooms just like you seasoned the flour because like I said before, you do not want to under season mushrooms. Okay, so just Go ahead and season it up like you season it some chicken and watch the magic happen. Now, y'all, don't mind me because I've mastered the technique of eyeballing seasonings. So, you know, some people may be like, oh, that's a lot. Of, it's not a lot. I really know how to just look and shake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, for the oil, I will be using avocado oil. This is what I like to use personally. Let's get the mushrooms nice and covered in this batter. So you're going to start with dipping the mushrooms in the wet batter first. And then you're going to just add them to your dry batter and repeat this, this process for all your mushrooms. Now, if you personally do not want to get your hands all sticky, then I would recommend using some kind of food safe gloves. I usually use gloves, but I was all out. So, hey, got to use the fingers. Now, once you have the mushrooms in the dry batter, you're going to shake off the excess flour. And basically what I did to save time is just prepare my mushrooms by putting them on a plate. Now, look at those babies frying, y'all. And I use a cast iron skillet. You're just going to flip it just like you just like you fry some chicken, y'all. OK, don't be acting brand new. This is just some mushrooms, baby. Look how golden brown they are. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh, y'all. It's so good and easy. You got to try this now. Oh, my gosh. This is the outcome. You cannot tell me this don't look delicious. All right, y'all. So I ended up pairing my mushrooms with some wild fried rice. Oh, my gosh. So good. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you're going to try it, 